Now we're going to look at dynamics for biped, and in particular the difference between biped dynamics and spline dynamics. So here we have two bipeds. They're exactly the same right now. I'm going to hit H, select the first biped, and go to the motion panel. I'm already there. I'm going to go into footstep mode. And I'm already here on the jump option. I'll go to create multiple footsteps, and I'll just keep it at four and activate those. And that activates one jump. Okay. Now, going down, dynamics and adaptation. That was set to the default biped dynamics. Okay, so now I'm going to go and choose biped 02 and go through the same thing except before I do this, I'm going to set it for spline dynamics. Now I'll go into footstep mode. It's already set up for jump. Multiple footsteps, four footsteps and activate. They look pretty much the same, but the spline dynamics is a somewhat more neutral movement. You can really see it here in the front viewport. Let me just enlarge that. As they come down initially, see how much more the biped with biped dynamics comes down than the one with spline dynamics. When they jump up, the one with biped dynamics jumps up a lot higher. And when they come down, it's the same thing. He comes down farther before he comes back up. So the way that this is usually used is, if you want to just create the jump with biped and not do too much to it after that, you'll use biped dynamics because it creates a more dynamic feeling animation. But if you want to just get the basic jump and then add your own dynamics, that is your own knee bends, for example, or whatever movements you want to make in conjunction with that jump, you might want to use spline dynamics because it's got a more neutral place to begin from and to add your own animation to. So that's biped dynamics and spline dynamics, two different ways of automatically adding dynamics to the biped.